key leadership quality. Amen. Go to Matthew 23. Start at verse 1. Amen. I want you all to know that, uh, that God is moving in our midst. You all will move with him. Don't get ahead of God. Don't be behind him. Find your place in him and walk with your Lord. Uh -huh. Walk with me. Amen? Amen. Matthew 23, verse 1, and it says, They spake, then Jesus, they spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works. But they say and do not. For they, they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments and love the uppermost rooms at feast and the chief seats in the synagogues and the greetings in the markets and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. And all ye are brethren, and call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. Whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Mm -hmm. Amen. The greatest among you shall be what? Servant. Shall be your shall shall be what? Servant. Your servant. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We're talking about this this, 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 this leadership quality called servanthood. Amen. As we look at leadership development strategies of the early church, we learned that God's pattern for leadership development did not involve attending the Apostles Academy or Paul's seminary. Character development came through servanthood. Amen. Now, today, we, 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 we would expect you to go to seminary. Amen. And when you go to seminary, more than likely, what they're going to teach you is their doctrine. They're going to teach you their thought. They're going to take you away from your thought and give you their thought. Amen. Amen. And, and, and especially when you go for your doctor's degree and you write your dissertation, that's where, that's when you tell them what you're thinking. In, in uh, 5,000 words. 500 pages and all kind of crazy stuff. Amen. You actually got to write a book. It has to be on, on the behavior of the black male in the African American church. You got to explain to some folk what your thought is on that. Amen. 500 pages, single space. And that has to be according to what they think that it is, not what you think. Now, so then you got to defend your thought to them. That ain't what they did back in the early church. Amen. Amen. And we, and when you look closely, you will observe some potential leaders in training that travel with the apostles, performing unskilled servant type tasks that will distract the apostle from kingdom priorities. Amen. They put Potential leaders who they thought would be a leader in these unskilled servant type roles to do what they would normally do, but would distract them from doing what God's called them to do. Amen. That's what we're doing around here. We're we trying to see who wants to be a leader. And then when we find out those who want to be leaders, we give you something to do. 
Like I told you before, I'm not a micromanager. I'm not going to stand behind you and check on you every step of the way. Amen. You got a problem, you need to let me know. Because when I walk up on you and you, you got a problem, you ain't sitting in the ballot. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. You got to learn how to be self-managed. Amen. 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 Because we are after kingdom. We're not after just church. Not just after you or me. We out to we out for the kingdom. Amen. 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 Now Jesus' spirit was transferred to the disciples as they were involved in servanthood. Mm -hmm. his, his spirit was transferred to them as they what? Served. Amen. For example, during the feeding of the 5,000, Jesus gave the disciples the task of ushering. His trainees didn't walk around in pride saying, huh, look at me, I'm a man of God. Or, look at me, put a car on me. Or, let me sit in the pulpit. Amen. Jesus said, then I'll show you your calling. Come, seek these multitudes in groups of fifties and feed them fish and bread. Amen. Amen. Now, what did they do? Sir. Right. Okay, now what happened at that feeding of the 5,000? People said they was hungry. Didn't they? And they said, well, ain't no McDonald's or, 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 or more, more dick nowhere around. But we got this little boy's lunch. Huh? Amen. Two fish and what? Five, five, five loaves of bread. Now, one of them said, now, how, how they going to feed 5,000? Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, y'all. Come on now. How are we going to feed 5,000 with two fish and five pieces of bread? Amen. You got two met fish sandwiches. Two. two. <laughs> what did Jesus say? He said, I got this. So I got this. Bring it to me. He, you know, what I got to understand is, is that they brought it to Jesus. He prayed over it and blessed it. Then he broke it and passed it to the disciples. And they kept breaking it and breaking it and breaking it and breaking it and breaking it. And breaking it, and breaking it till it all five. Yeah. So they said good enough to 12,000 people that got fed off of one boy's lunch. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then when they got through, they had leftovers. Mm -hmm. 12 baskets of leftovers. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> now can you imagine you send your son to go to go to the revival? And send him with a little lunch, he come back with 12, ba the, the truck pull up out front and unload 12 baskets, 12 boxes of food. Wow. I y'all don't hear me. You put a lunch in the hands of Jesus wow. and get a return of, oh my God. Wow. So when I talk about us feeding at the church every Sunday, I'm not just playing. Like I'm talking about, I'm trusting God. Amen. I'm talking about where you know the first thing we want to do is run out of church and go what? Go eat. Go eat. <laughs> Can you imagine running out of church and, and, and just go next door into the into the uh, whatever, whatever whatever you call it? No, not the watch. Watch is gonna be in the back. You can't come to my watch to eat. <laughs> I said next door. Yeah, that was Lord awesome. have mercy. Oh my God, Jesus, that was so <laughs> It's your cousin, not mine. Go on, Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. The disciples who have received the spirit of their leaders will be the first to arrive at church and the last to leave. Amen. Amen. Usually they will not leave until the pastor leaves the premises because they want to see him properly escorted to his car. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm used to, you know, pastor, come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. Get in the car, go on home. We, we got this. 
I, I told y'all one Sunday, I, I, I was so sick, I, I, I couldn't understand up, but I preached the whole sermon, and they carried me to my car and drove me home. Carried me into that, I, I was, I was, I was, I, it, man, it was horrible. It was horrible. I'll never be that sick again ever in my life. Amen. The heart of a true leader of God is servanthood. Servanthood is the primary catalyst for increasing an anointing. Are y'all need to hear me? Not just increasing the anointing, but, but, but having the power on the calling on your life. Amen. Anointing always speaks of responsibility. Responsibility always leads to leadership. But the key to the match race of anointing, responsibility, and leadership is what? Serving from the heart. Amen. Serving your leader from the heart invariably will cause you to receive his spirit. Amen. Amen. The people, the people that have that have served with me from years past, I, I know 15, 20 of them just want me to come live, to live in their city. They said, please come, please come to Georgia. No, can't come to Georgia. Can't come to Georgia. Please come back to Texas. Come. They beg, please come back to Texas. Can't do it. Please come back to Missouri. Can't do it. Can't do it. Please come to Virginia. Please come to South Carolina. Please come to North Carolina. Can't do it. You come to Kentucky. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The word of God is filled with accounts of promotions. Hear me now. The word of God is filled with accounts of promotions in the kingdom of God that have come through mentoring and stagnation do attempts to build a ministry with people who do not have their leader spirit. Amen. Amen. Y'all see enough for tea offer. Amen. I, I, I tried. I, I read over this thing. I just going to. I was tired. I got tired. All right. Amen. In Genesis 12 and 1, God said to Abel, Go forth from your country and from your what? Yeah. Relatives. Uh oh. And your father's house. Mm -hmm. Abram did not completely obey God because in verse 4 it says Abram went forth as the Lord had spoken to him and Lot went with him. Lot did not share Abram's vision therefore God did not give Abram more direction until they separated. Uh, oh, yeah, you hear me? Wow. No, boy, 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 boy. Wow. Go to Genesis 12. Y'all gotta understand this, see? See, some of y'all so, 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 so bent on carrying your family. Ah, oh, that's, that's my, that's my family. Okay. Okay. See, and, and, and please hear me. Please, please hear what, what I'm not saying. Please don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not saying you abandon your family. Only if God has got you doing something that tells you to leave. Amen. 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 Can I get a better amen? amen. amen. Now, a whole lot of us in here are supporting our families. Taking care of our families. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. God, God, and put me, put me with, with, with my family. Every time I try to get close, I he send me out. Every time I get close, I'll stay for a minute and then get out of here. Okay, now twelve and one it says, "Now the Lord has said to Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, from thy father's house, unto the land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a what great nation." And I will what? Bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse of thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and what? Lot. And what? Lot. Lot went with him. And Abraham was 75 years old when he departed out of, out of Haran. Amen. Okay? But he said, Get away from your what? Relatives. Back to the paper. And from your father's house. 
Okay? But Lot was with him, and Lot did not share Abram's vision. This is what happens with us. God gives us something, and the main one fighting against you is your family. Amen. Can I get a better amen? amen? Can I get a better, better amen? amen. amen. Mm -hmm. oh, Are you sure that's what God was? Yeah. I can't even see how that would even work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going down into that church commit with these old crazy ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Fool around there and there. And stop reading that Bible all the time. Too much of anything ain't good for you. <laughs> 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 Show. That's terrible. Y'all better hear me. I was told that by a family member. Hmm. Amen. 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 Well, can it be to the crazy house? Something's wrong with that boy. <laughs> Too much church ain't good for you. <laughs> But God could not give Abram any more directions. He got away from life. Amen. Let's go on. 